Hi, my name is Abby Zahn. I am a senior here at Central Michigan University. I have a major in finance and a minor in information systems, and I will be graduating this December. I wanted to take some time to thank you for reviewing this video and giving me some time and consideration. Um, now I'm just going to jump right into these questions. So the first one was, when you were a kid, who did you want to be when you grew up? I'd have to say this would be my older sister. I've always looked up to her. She is the kind of person that knows everyone, talks to everyone. Um, we can be anywhere, and she'll she'll know somebody that walks in. Um, and she just because of that, she just makes it so easy to be genuinely happy. Um, and I'd always looked up to that because it's hard to find someone that's happy all the time, and that's definitely her. Aside from that. Um, she's very successful in her schooling. Um, she's graduating with her doctorate in May. Um, so aside from that, I think more than anything, her personality is what I looked up to. And all throughout high school and middle school, for some reason, I thought that being popular was the most important thing. And she was Miss Popular all through high school and middle school. So even from then, I started looking up to her. Um, so the next one is give an example of when you had to work with someone who was difficult to get along with and how did you handle interactions with that person. I'd have to say this was when I was doing my internship at a local accounting firm here in town, um, Blystone and Bailey. I was one of two interns and the other one was a, a freshman at Central and I was a junior. Um, we, during tax season, we had probably a pile of tax returns that we had to complete within a day or two. And each one taking about 30 minutes to complete, it was really hard to do that in, you know, your five or six hour shift. So more, more times than not, we were staying after and completing the projects after hours. But the problem with this was that since she was a freshman, she felt like, she needed to go home and focus on school, so I was always stuck staying until 9 p.m., and then I would start my homework after 9. So this was really difficult for me to grasp that she felt it was more important for her to leave to go do homework, but I was stuck at work and still couldn't do, start my homework until like 9 p.m. Um, the way we resolved this was... We talked amongst each other and we were just discussing, you know, how overwhelmed we were. You know, we were working a lot. Um, even though we were working a lot, we still had a lot of work to complete. And, of course, our homework. Um, we ended up deciding that we're going to alternate. So we would come in every other Saturday. So, like, she would come in on a Saturday and then the next Saturday I would come in. Um, and this ended up working out so much better for us because going in on a Monday, we were already caught up. It wasn't like we were backed up again. So um, that was very helpful for us. And then after we came to terms of who's going to be what Saturday, um, and we figured out, our, figured out our schedule, we went to my manager and she approved that we could do that, coming on a Saturday rather than staying until 9 p.m. every school night, I guess. Um, so the next question is, what are the three things that are most important to you in a job? So I think that work-life balance is really important for me. I am the kind of person that will work until I drop. I, if I have a project that's coming due, I have to work on it until it's done. And that's always been the kind of person that I am. Um, if I procrastinate, um. That's, I just don't work best like that. So having that work-life balance um, where I can, you know, work at work and then go home and have a life at home as well. Um, or weekends where I won't have to work the entire weekend. Um, another thing is a job that I enjoy coming into every day. This is really important for me because I feel like I've had jobs that I've liked, and then I've also had jobs that I haven't liked. And I've found firsthand that I am more successful and more productive in a job that I do like rather than a job that I don't like. So this is really important for me coming out of college and going into um, my first 
real world job that I actually have something that I enjoy doing and enjoy coming into every day. Um, another thing is challenging myself to learn and grow every day. I don't want my learning to stop after college. I want to continue learning and growing as a person, um, whether that be in finance, whether that be um, growing as a person, not even just at my job. You know, I just I just don't want to graduate college and be stuck. Um, so continuing to learn and grow is one of the most important things to me. Um, and then another question was, Give an example of an occasion when you use logic to solve a problem. So I haven't had much real world experience for me to relate this back to the workforce, but the first thing that came to my mind when I read this question was when I went on a mission trip to the Dominican Republic. I was going alone and I went with an organization. So. I stay I had like a host family in the Dominican Republic and they were solely Spanish speaking and I don't speak Spanish. So our communication was very hard and it was very limited. Um you know your car rides they're quiet. Um your dinners they're quiet cuz you didn't have conversation. You didn't know how to make that conversation. And probably by like the third day, this was really starting to take a toll on me. And because I'm a very talkative person and I really wanted to get to know these people that I was staying with in their house. And it was probably the third night that I was trying to ask them what time I had to be up in the morning for the next day's activities. And I couldn't ask them because I didn't know Spanish. And it was then that I thought to get on my phone and do Google Translate. This solved all our issues. We were able to, I would talk into my phone, it would pop up the words, it would show the host family, and then they could talk in Spanish into it, show the words in English to me. So not only this communication between us, but also even when we went to a restaurant, I could scan the menu and the English words would show up. So it made everything so much easier and saved us so much time and I actually ended up getting to know this family so that was really nice and they ended up being amazing people. So the last question is why do customers buy a product? In my opinion I feel like customers buy a product because they're trying to fill some sort of void in their life so this might be something to make their life easier or to solve an issue. So. When I think of this, I think of something to make their life easier. So it might be a tool or um, something like cleaners for your home. And then something to solve an issue could be the first thing that popped in my mind was if someone was walking to work and, you know, it gets cold out to solve this issue of them walking maybe hours in the cold they buy a car or a bike or something along those lines. Um, so again, I wanted to thank you for your time and consideration. Um, I look forward to hearing from you soon. And thank you.